Well, I did the unthinkable, but more on that in a minute. I was given this MacBook Pro years ago and had used it for day-to-day -day tasks, streaming videos, and even editing some videos. My main issues with it were that many applications and websites would not work properly or even at all. Now, I've heard that there is some software that will allow you to update the OS to new, newer versions. For example, I'd be going from Catalina to Sequoia. But I'll be honest, I didn't feel comfortable by, to try doing it at all, and I'm probably paranoid, but I feel like I would mess up the entire install. I might get back to it another day. My go-to was something that I've done before with older computers, and that was to install a Linux OS. In this case, I decided to go with Linux Mint 22.1, or now 22.2, Cinnamon. There's no really good reason I chose this one other than I like the appearance of the UI, I tried other different Linux OS's, and I find that they're all fairly good and honestly pretty similar to Navigate. Could I have gone to a dual boot and had the best of both worlds? Sure. But to be honest, I'd probably never open up the Mac OS over the Mint OS in the current state that it was. It was usable, but again, too many things didn't work that I wanted. I've never been completely married to the Apple ecosystem, so departing with it was not really an issue. I'm not saying that this is the best solution, but for me and what I do, what my needs are, this turned out to be the solution that I required to keep this laptop productive and out of a recycling center. Okay, let's really get into what I use this laptop for. Firstly, because of its larger screen size, this is perfect for multitasking. For example, I'm typing out this script while watching Netflix or a YouTube video. And using Firefox is totally fine. It's easy to set up your preferences because it's up to date as opposed to the Safari and every website works. This is a huge pro considering how many sites wouldn't work due to the outdated Safari web browser. So day-to-day -day web tasks are without issues and I can be fully productive. I noticed that this has ChatGPT and the other AIs on the side tab, which is pretty useful and I end up using this feature quite often. On my desktop, I've been purchasing video editing software like Pinnacle Studio Pro. On this MacBook Pro, I've been using CapCut and I have been pleasantly surprised at how much I've enjoyed using it. And the best part of it is that it's free. I think that's the beauty of the Linux OS's and older hardware. Although my hardware is pretty decent on this MacBook Pro from 2012, this same software setup works on almost anything that the Mac OS's or the Windows might struggle on, let alone the fact that they both make anything obsolete once the hardware gets older. Now it hasn't been all sunshine and roses. I had difficulty getting some of the drivers for my printer and Bluetooth devices to work, but I was able to gradually get those things sorted out. There have been the occasional system freezes. I'd have to hold the power button to get out of them and do a hard reset. With some up system updates, this hasn't been much of an issue anymore. In fact, in the past probably few weeks, it hasn't happened at all. And as for gaming, no. I'm not playing my COD Warzone on this, for example, but that's why I have my desktop Windows computer. Now, I get it. Most people who are dedicated Apple or Mac users and people who are invested in the ecosystem will never, ever understand what I did in replacing the Mac OS with Linux. Before I installed it, it was limited for most of the things I needed to do because it wasn't able to update as the laptop got older. Now. It does everything I need to in terms of web-based applications so I can be productive and I have some security assurances because there are frequent updates with this OS and with Firefox. Installing this Linux Mint or whatever Linux OS you want for free has extended the usefulness of this laptop for years to come. Sure, I do lose some functions and apps from Apple, but for me, I didn't really miss them or really need them. I mean, look at this. The style of the laptop is almost timeless. The screen quality is still amazing. And at about 13 years old, this still feels like it has years to go. Remember, as opposed to Apple's and Windows, updates are easy 
and it keeps the old hardware still relevant. A good example is Windows. Most of my older computers are incompatible with the latest update from Windows 10 to 11. I understand the security reasons, but also it makes some of the most capable older hardware obsolete and useless before their time. Here is still my push to people out there that instead of moving into the latest and greatest because software pushes out the hardware is insane. Remember, you've got a friend in the little penguin. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.